Hi YouTube, my name is Vish and this is my Shadow Star Seraph deck. Seraph profile, uh, with three chairs and three sticks. People that don't know this combo, you pretty much normal summon the Scepter and have a Sovereignty in hand and pretty much reveal him to special summon him. You get to add to your hand with Scepter, so special summon him, draw one, and then special summon the other one that you add to your hand with Scepter. So you get a two card combo that ends off with a Rank 4 with 3 materials, and you gotta destroy a card, and do a whole bunch of other things. And for my Shadow Engine, I play 1 Dragon, 3 Skomatas, 3 Falcos, 2 Beasts, 2 Hedgehogs. Um, play only 1 Dragon because it's kind of dead against Necros, and I think about changing it to 2 because there's just lots of Rogue and stuff running around still, but 1 seems to be just perfect. Uh, three Skomatas just to get, always have a dump to the graveyard. It's pretty much any other shit all I want. Uh, three Falcos because a lot of decks have problems with your constant field presence. Um, two Beasts because three is really cloggy, I find, and two is perfect number. Two Hedgehogs so you can always keep your Shekinog alive. And Hand Traps, I play three Veiler and two maxis because you want to after you draw all those cards from your star Seraph combo you want to have some sort of defense in the form of either hand traps uh, i don't like back row too much because i uh, prefer these are these make your opponent make awkward plays and rarely they can stop doing what they're doing i play mathematician engine three mathematician and to go with it a para para cerberus and a felice people have been cutting felice but i still like felice because there's lots of rogue at my locals and one card black rose sometimes a blow up and I play big man BLS. For my spells, I play three El Shadal Fusion and only two fusion. Uh, a lot of times people they know you're playing shadows. I mean they're not gonna leave an extra monster on the board. And I just find you know, El Shadal is a lot more superior to just normal Shadal Fusion. And I run off the spells Book of Moon and Regeki. Traps, I play two Shadow Games, Core, Emptiness, and Ring of Destruction. They're all very solid traps. I normally side out the Shadow Games, but they're still good game one. Uh, for my extra deck, I play a Masquerade because I don't have an Ouroboros. I play one Del Toros and then a Diamond in case I can get the combo off and I'm going uh, second in the mirror, or this is good against Burning Abyss as well. I uh, play an Excidon and a Castell for the Xyz. I uh, play Black Rose, Arcanite. These are your Mathematician Felice combos, or let's say a Falco and a Beast or something to make those. And I play Leo. A lot of decks still have problems dealing with Leo. Uh, you make it with just Construct and Falco, and plus you get your Fusion back. And the Fusions, two Shex, two Windows, and three Constructs. And last is just my side deck. I uh, play lots of removal, play two Dark Hole and two Mirror Force. Uh, a lot of decks have like Floodgate monsters like the Fiends and Dark Law and Genlock, so I mean you want to have some answers to what they're putting up against you. Uh, three MST for what they side in against you. Three mistakes. Uh, this is mainly against Necros and Heroes, lots of decks that do searching. Two Lancia again with some virtual beast players and Necro as well, it's good. And round it off, extra maxi, an extra shadow fusion against like Satellers and Burning Abyss, and last card is Crush Card. And that's my deck profile. Alright guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe for more video content. Thank you.